and welcome along to day one of Christmas Inky Art School, your free five day online learning course. Today we're going to kick start with learning to draw this, a really sweet little Christmas garland with festive foliage in it. So today you will need your paper. I am just using really basic non-glossy white office coffee paper. I have a clicky pencil, um, a 0 0.2 pigment liner, black, a compass, although, although, you can just draw around like a cup or a glass, doesn't need to be a compass, and an eraser. If you would like to see full details of all the materials that I use in NQ Art School, I will put a link below, to the side, above, swipe up, somewhere around where you are watching this video, so you can find out exactly what I use if you want to use the same thing. Let's stop talking and let's get drawing. So we're going to start off with essentially Christmas Foliage 101, Holly, Ivy and Mistletoe, maybe a poinsettia there as well. So begin by drawing your Holly berries, one, two, three. The third one almost pokes a little bit underneath these first two. Don't worry if your circles aren't perfect, mine aren't either. Uh, they're meant to be a bit wibbly. Now I draw a straight line coming out there like that. This is going to be the centre of our holly leaf. And to draw holly, I always do one, two, three. So these are the two points, this is the top point. So you come one, two, and three. Sometimes they meet up quite nicely and look quite even. Sometimes they're all over the shop and one bit looks pointier and one bit looks skinnier. That's all fine. I My feeling is you're a human being doing a drawing. It's not going to look perfect every time. Um, and that's quite nice. So I'm going to do three holly leaves coming from our three holly berries. I love odd numbers. I think they are inherently more pleasing. So I stick to that. If you were, say, drawing a sprig of holly, I would draw the stem and then a couple of lines. So these lines are the centre spine of the holly leaf. Always draw that first. And then just the same thing. One, two, top. One, two, tuck it in. One, two, top. One, two, top. See? Super simple. And look, that isn't quite even. Again, I think that's okay. And then for the stem, I would just give it a bit of width. So double that up to make it into a, a double line. Uh, next, and I'm rattling through these really quick, feel free to pause the video and catch up or try again. Uh, next we're going to do some holly, no we've just done holly, we're going to do some ivy, holly and ivy. So again, little line, this is the centre line. I tend to always draw the centre line first, it's a good guide. And then like this. So imagine this is the hair of a troll from the movie Trolls. This is the main centre leaf and then we just draw a little leaf on either side. Super simple or simple dimple as Evie would say. I'll show you again. Centre line. We draw the centre leaf portion and then draw the outside. Worth noting, I've drawn about 50 million of these, so I've got quite good muscle memory. Uh, yours might not look like this, they might be a little less precise, you might be a little more cautious, that's all fine. Uh, it's just practice. Honestly, the more you practice, the better you'll get. And as I say, I've drawn 52 million of these um, in the last five years, so <laughs> I've had a bit of practice. Uh, next up, Holly Ivy Mistletoe. So again, like the holly, I draw the berries first. I cannot imagine drawing the foliage first. It would be like a drinking cup of soup from a mug, a cup of soup from a bowl, just wrong. Cup of soup should be in a cup or a mug for that matter, but not in a bowl. Berries first is what I'm saying. So I've done a little cluster of berries there. It actually almost looks like it could be a raspberry. Um, and then for mistletoe, I sort of do these elongated teardrop kind of leaves. 
These are very stylized. I know that this is not what mistletoe actually botanically looks like, but it's how I choose to do it. That one is quite fat. I would maybe almost skinny that down a little bit. But the idea is you have these collections of elongated teardrops coming from the center of the berries and that will be your foliage. All right, we've sort of battered through that. Now I'm gonna show you how I ink it in. So I'm just gonna grab my 0.2 pigment liner, fave pen ever, and we're gonna go over the pencil lines. So as you'll know, if you've done inky art school with me before, or if you've got the book, How to Draw Inky Wonderlands, I draw in pencil first, and then I redraw in ink because I am not confident enough most of the time to draw in ink first. I like to make changes. So just draw in pencil first. I work it all out and then go over it in ink. So I literally go over the top of the pencil lines. Sometimes I'll tidy them up a little bit, add some extra details. I'll show you that in a second. So for example, this leaf here, I'm gonna ink in that center spine and then do a little bit of detailing. This one will maybe do a line and some dots. Uh, let's do a few dots in here. I think as well you sort of find your visual vocabulary when it comes to inking details. So I have a few go-to mega moves that I use a lot. For example, things like polka dots, a little bits of cross hatching, a big fan of a dot dash dot dash sort of broken line. I think that can be quite pretty. The more you draw, the more you'll work out what you like and what looks good. Um, and you just sort of add to your repertoire really. That one's a bit wobbly, but we'll just go with it. For the ivy leaves, I'm going to ink that in like that and I'll show you two different ideas for adding details. So just going over the outline here. For this one, I'm going to draw in freehand some little shapes inside each of those big leaves. And on this one, let's do a line and a line. a little dot at the apexes. Now you can see the pencil lines, they're still pretty scruffy, don't worry, we're going to erase them. The pencil lines are like the foundation or the scaffolding that kind of holds everything together but you don't necessarily need to see it at the end so I erase it. Just go over all these. I'll show you a nice little trick for mistletoe foliage in a second. That one so with this, I like to do a line coming from the center and then a couple of dots. I sort of push hard and get lighter with the pressure as the pen gets nearer the end of that teardrop, which gives you that sort of flicky look. So it's sort of like this, darker at the bottom, lighter and thinner to the top. Now really important here we've finished our inking leave this to dry if you try and erase it straight away you're just going to smudge the ink the ink has to have completely dried and then we can very gently erase away the pencil lines this is my favorite eraser it is a statler mars plastic eraser very white very clean brand new one i took out the packet this morning because my other ones are manky <laughs> but if you have a coloured eraser, a putter, putty eraser, or a hard eraser, it's just going to scuff up your lines. What you want to do is gently lift off the pencil lines and leave the ink. So I think that's our ink all dry. I'll just roll my fist onto that last bit that we inked to check there's no peel off. It's all fine. I don't like to like test it for wetness, wetness, um, with my fingertip because it's often a bit smudgy, oily, whatever on your fingertip. Um, and that leaves a smudge. So if you just make a fist, use that sort of chubby bit on the side of your hand, roll it on, roll it off, and if there's no imprint there, then your ink is dry. Okay, so now we just really lightly 
lift off all that graphite. And we are left with our beautiful inked foliage. Right, well I'll show you something that you can do with this now. So my whole point about drawing is I don't like drawing for drawing's sake. Uh, I've got a whole rant about that in the in the useless panda video. I'll put a link to that below. But I like the idea that you can actually do something with techniques like this. So we're going to draw a little Christmas garland. Let's have a go at that. Okay, I've got my compass and I am just going to draw a little circle on my paper here. Now, if you haven't got a compass, it doesn't need to be a fancy one like this. I think I got sent this one for free. Uh, just draw around a cup or a glass or a mug. You just need a circle. And what we're going to do is just fill this with Christmas foliage. So for example, we'll start here and we'll do some holly and just gently make our way around the circle. Okay, so that's our pencil sketch all done. As you can see, I kind of ramble off the course of that center uh, circle. It's just there's a guide. It's nice to have some bits where it sort of escapes and goes a little bit wild uh, there and there. And a few little flourishes are always a lovely touch too. Now I'm gonna grab my pen and ink it. So that's us. I've finished inking the entire design. I'm going to now add a few little sparkles. I just do these like four little lines radiating from a point. I think it looks like sparkles. Um, a few wee dots. This just sort of breaks up the edge of the artwork. I think it makes it look a little bit magical. There we go. And we're doing one in here. You don't want them too evenly placed either. There you go. Now, wait for the ink to dry and then we will erase and you will see our finished garland. And there you have it, one finished Christmas garland. Now these are lovely because you can write Merry Christmas on the inside and make it into a sweet little Christmas card. You could use something like this as um, the name settings on your table, your play settings. So you would write like grandma, mom, all those different names inside there. And you could either draw a different one for each person or photocopy them or trace them. I know not everyone will have a scanner at home, especially just now during COVID but that would be your options for, for replicating them. You can either leave it black and white like this or add a little bit of color. If you are gonna color, I would recommend using coloring pencils or, I mean, because you're working on loose leaf paper and it won't matter if the ink goes through, 
you can definitely crack out your glitter gel pens. So that's it, super easy. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please have a go yourself and remember to share your creations. I love to see them, post them online eh, and tag me or upload them to the coloring gallery. All the details are below, above, to the side, scroll somewhere near where you're watching this video so you can find out more. Tomorrow we will be doing day two, which is learning to draw a snowman. So if you wanna draw a snowman, pop along tomorrow and I'll see you there. Till then, take care, be kind and have fun.